Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we will talk about the battle between the Patriot Air Defense System and Russia's hypersonic Kinzhal missiles. Claims and counterclaims are flying high, so let's dive right in. Both sides, Russia and Ukraine, have been claiming to destroy the prized weapon in the arsenal of the other while claiming theirs to be invincible. But what's the truth behind these claims? Can the Patriot Air Defense System really shoot down the Kinzhal missiles? Let's start with the recent events. According to reports, the Russian military launched a fierce attack on Kiev to destroy the Patriot Air Defense System. Ukrainian officials claim that Russia launched six Kinzhal missiles from MiG-31, nine-caliber cruise missiles from ships in the Black Sea, three short-range ballistic missiles from land, and deployed a number of drones. However, Ukraine successfully intercepted all incoming targets, including the six Kinzhal missiles. It was not immediately clear how many Russian missiles were aimed at Kiev, which local officials said was targeted overnight with an exceptional blitz of missiles and drones. The skies over Kiev lit up around 3 a.m. with thunderous explosions as air defenses collided with the incoming missiles, raining debris across the city. As we can see in this video, Ukraine launched several Patriot interceptors to counter the incoming Russian missiles. Shortly after, a blast can be observed, indicating a hit on a target, possibly the Patriot system. This footage added weight to Russia's claim, but the situation remained murky. As the story unfolded, Russia maintained that it had successfully hit the American-supplied Patriots with the Kinzhal missile on May 15. Initially, the Ukrainians rejected the claim, but later, the U.S. officials anonymously confirmed that a Pac-3 battery had suffered damage. But it can be fixed without removing the system from the deployed site. The latest report claims that the systems have been repaired. It's essential to analyze the available evidence and remain cautious of incomplete information. The story surrounding the attack on the Patriot system is still developing, and we must await further updates to gain a clearer understanding. Now let's talk about whether can Kinzel destroy the Patriot battery or not. Yes, the Patriot system could be destroyed with a Kinzhal missile if an element of surprise is maintained in terms of the direction of the attack and from what distance the missile is launched. Since the range of the Kinzhal is good, it does not need to launch from the territory of Ukraine. When the MiG-31 with the Kinzhal fly up from some direction, satellites and US intelligence transmit this information. So an element of surprise is vital. Because of speed, it's difficult for an air defense system to detect, track, and engage a hypersonic missile within a short span of time. Given the speed of the Kinzhal missile, it is challenging, but if the range and bearing information are shared from another source, like an airborne warning and control system, then the system can track. Since its arrival, the Patriot system has been on the top target list of Russia, and it is expected that future Russian attacks will also aim to destroy the system. The Patriot is the most expensive single weapon system that the U.S. has supplied to Ukraine at a total cost of about 1.1 billion U.S. dollars, 400 million U.S. dollars for the system, and 690 million U.S. dollars for the missiles. It has to be seen what the cost exchange ratio is likely to be, Russia has to figure out how many missiles at what cost it would take to destroy each element in the battery. Because last time Russia fired 18 missiles to destroy one Patriot battery. Typically, a Patriot battery includes 6 to 8 launching stations, a radar, an engagement control station, power generation, and other support vehicles. Using a ground-based surveillance system to intercept an air-launched ballistic missile itself is a challenge, here we are talking about a hypersonic ballistic missile, which can maneuver in its entire flight path and can attain maximum speed over Mach 10 giving air defense units only a few seconds to detect, track, and engage. But, some experts remain skeptical about Moscow's hypersonic claims, suggesting that these missiles are modified versions of existing munitions. The Patriot system has undergone significant upgrades over time. The initial Pac-1 variant was capable of engaging aircraft only. 
Subsequently, the PAC-2 variant was introduced, with the added capability to shoot down ballistic missiles. The PAC-3 upgrade brought substantial improvements to the system, including a new missile design and a gallium nitride-based AESA radar. The most significant enhancement in the PAC-3 missile is the addition of a KA-band active radar seeker. This enables the missile to acquire its target independently during the terminal phase, improving reaction time against fast-moving ballistic missile targets. Furthermore, miniaturization allows a single canister to hold four PAC-3 missiles compared to one PAC-2 missile per canister. However, one-on-one, -on -one, the Kinshole missile still holds an advantage. But if an early warning system is added to the Patriot system, its chances of intercepting the Kinshole would significantly improve. The battle between the Patriot and the Kinshole missiles continues, with each side claiming victory. However, the reality lies somewhere in between, and only time will reveal the true capabilities of these systems. That's it for today, see you in the next video.